at 5.06. And we also have big tech companies, too, here in the Bay Area not taking any chances. Just yesterday, as a matter of fact, Twitter abruptly shut down its San Francisco and its New York offices. Google announced its plans. It's going to postpone a return for most workers coming back in person until October because of the number of coronavirus cases. Crown Force Sarah Stinson is live at Google headquarters in Mountain View now with the details. Good morning, Sarah. Yeah, that's right. Googlers won't be coming here to campus until mid-October. They were supposed to come back in September, but it got postponed due to the growing concern of the Delta variant. And guess what? When they do come here, they will be required to be vaccinated, fully vaccinated. And they're not alone. Facebook has also announced shortly after that they're requiring employees to get vaccinated as well. They said they're still figuring out some of the logistics how they will enforce it, and also exemptions for those who cannot get the vaccine. Facebook's also keeping most employees at home until October, and CEO Mark Zuckerberg has said about half will continue to work remotely in the coming years. Many, many big tech companies are adjusting their plans to keep everyone safe. Twitter announced, as you said, it immediately shut down its San Francisco and New York offices, pausing all future openings too, kind of holding on and waiting to see what happens with the Delta variant, hoping more people get vaccinated. Twitter opened its offices just two weeks ago, so this is a major halt in the opposite direction. As the pandemic got started well over a year ago, big tech companies were the first to send employees home, and they've been working at home ever since. As we know, it's been working for a lot of these big tech companies, and many will be going forward with that. There's been a few Google employees coming back here, but majority have stayed home. Now, Amazon, as well as, uh, you know, uh, Apple, Apple and Amazon have not released any requirements so far on whether they're going to have their employees get vaccinated. So we'll have to stand by on that, but it seems to be the going trend. For now, live at Google, Sarah Stinson, back to you. All right. Thanks a lot, Sarah. Since you mentioned um, Apple, I know that um, most, if not all of their stores are going to start requiring you That's to nice. have a mask. Yeah. And um, it would be surprising if yeah. corporate-wise they follow suit with the other companies as well. Yeah.